Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. From the heady, you know that this vlog is about psychiatric posting. So guys, I will be vlogging my whole experience in psychiatric world. Right now, we are on our way to neuropsychiatric hospital, Rimobo, Botakos, Nigeria. And I will try to vlog as much as I can in the hospital while still meeting the patients, right? So guys, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Stay tuned and watch the vlog to the end because at the end, we will tell you our experiences so far in the psychiatric hospital. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Stay tuned. Hi guys, good morning. So, um, yeah, I am in psychiatric hospital. We are going to do posting for 25 days. Um, for this semester and yeah it's a new year happy new year by the way i'm so so sorry for not reaching you guys and yeah just look at the environment so we are here and i'm kind of i don't know skeptical about this post because it's psychiatric hospital you know the kind of patient that is psychiatric hospital so let me bring my friend hi a sweetheart <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we are actually just excited. I'm coming. We are, just, we are actually just excited being here. And though I had to cut my days, but then I'm still happy. So I'll just be showing you guys around as we go. So follow up me as I go. Okay, guys. So this is the environment. The end. The entrance. So we are just going inside. This moment we are waiting for our senior nurse or matron to come and orientate us and tell us what we are supposed to be. What we are supposed to expect in this whole process, take us around the hospital, the normal schedule we are supposed to um, go about and explain to us the basics about psychiatric posting. So yeah, that's what we are just gathered here waiting for her or him to come in. We ended up changing our meeting area for the orientation sermon, which was in a classroom-like area still within the hospital, so psychiatric hospital remember, where our senior nurse told us what we are supposed to expect in our whole process of staying in psychiatric ward. That brought us to the end. Okay, so guys, this is my second day of um, psychiatric hospital posting, but I was not able to vlog the first day really like that. So I'll try to vlog more today, and I'll show you guys what it looks like and everything. So yeah, I'm actually in the female ward now in psychiatric hospital room, but I can't enter inside with my camera because of obvious reasons. So guys, let's just see how the vlog will be and I hope you enjoy So it. this is the female ward, they're entering inside. Yep, 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 yep. Entering inside, but I'll stop here because of um, Precious privacy. I'm going to show you the entrance into the emergency ward in the psychiatric hospital, but I'm not going to enter inside because, like I said, we have to maintain patient's privacy. Yeah, so see the entrance a little bit. Yep, that is the entrance. So, yeah. I want to ask my friend what she has experienced so far. So, Rita, what have you experienced so far? Well, so far. It's been a great experience though, but you know, I'm kind of new to this environment. I've never been here and I've never experienced cases like this. Like me mentally ill patients. Yeah, the cases here are very, very delicate. Like you have to be very, very careful how you how handle the patients yeah. and the rest. So the, these cases, yeah, they are very unique, very unique cases. So we are still commissioner, we, you know. As time goes on, we'll get used to everything. Yeah, as, as time goes on, we'll obviously get used to everything. Yes. So, so guys, I'm not going to be able to vlog that much. I just noticed now because I have to um, put the patient's um, rights first because their right to privacy is very important. So I don't have to show them on the internet basically that yes. they are in this as hospital. Notice, so. We are expected to respect 
uh, patient's privacy. Yes. So we should never in any way or anyhow try to expose them to anything that might be considered harmful or, you know, bad yeah. for them. Yes, so yeah. that's what we're going to be doing throughout this period. And we are going to be doing it for 25 days, like it's practically one month. So um, maybe I'll make a video or maybe stay in this video, my experience about um, psychiatry. Just tell you a little bit about um, the psychiatric hospital. In psychiatric hospital, there are different departments or different sections. Um, we have the outpatient units, we have the male ward, we have the female ward, we have the treatment unit and we have this um, emergency unit. So tell us about the outpatient unit. Okay, in the outpatient unit, what we do there is we record the, uh, what is it called, everything that will be done for the day and we, re we record prescriptions that have been given by the doctor, then we refer patients to their doctors. We, to see, yes. Yes, we also write prescriptions for them as well. Oh, yes. so, and we also refer patients to their various units, like to units where they are supposed to be, from our unit to the units where they are supposed to be. So that's what we really do in the outpatient department. It's that simple. Okay, okay, guys. So yeah, you have heard this. That's what we do in the outpatient session. So in the emergency session is basically for emergency cases, emergency mental illness cases that um, people that maybe that are behaving absurd so high, like their level of uh, mental illness is so high, you cannot control them at that particular point. So we have to take them straight to the emergency unit, and then we have the uh, male ward and the female ward. So that, that one. Is Self explanatory. The male world is basically for the males, for men, men that are not, that are unique, and then um, the female world is also for women too, that are unique. So, guys, um, yeah, that is basically, yes, the treatment, the treatment um, unit for giving press. Okay, guys, so the most important thing is that we have to take our mental health seriously. What we have learned so far is that we have to take our mental health seriously. So life situations can make someone break down and we have to um, take care of our mental health and avoid things that stress us mentally too much. Like for those of us that study, we have to take breaks in our study period, not just back to back, back to back, back to back um, study. Because we have seen some cases that it was because of too much study that they are mentally. In one last word, please, before you marry, make sure you go for a mental evaluation or a mental checkup. It's really very important. Know your mental health status. Thank you very much. Thank Hi guys, good morning. Um, so this is the is it the third or the fourth day of psychiatric posting and um yeah so i i just remember that i've not really explained to you guys how the whole schedule will be like so by the way i'm ready to go for today and i'm just waiting for the post to be yes that will enter and go so now let me just explain a little bit of how the schedule will be like so we have some clinical days and we have um days we'll have lectures so tuesday wednesday thursday our clinical days for psychiatric posting and then on Monday and on Friday we'll be having lectures. So yeah, that's how the whole schedule of this um, psychiatric post is going to be. Yes. What else you want to do? The fear of death begins to, to ring alarm inside your head. You are under distress. So it must be accompanied by distress. Now, all this brings us to the end of the first week of psychiatric process. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have reached this place, thank you so much for watching. Please give a like and comment if you ended up liking this video. And ask any question you would like to ask and I will respond to them. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video.